I just wait. I just wait, man. As long as I see in pregame lobby, I'm like the happiest motherfucker, <laughs> bro. Game over. What is going on YouTube? Foxy here, welcome to you guys today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are gonna be playing Modern Warfare 3 in 2020. I've gotten so many comments and requests for this video. So we are going to be playing this and we're gonna have an awesome time. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know down in the comments which Call of Duty you want me to play next. Without further ado, let's go, bros. All right, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to try and snipe. Modern Warfare 3. All of you guys have been commenting about Modern Warfare 3, and I can't blame you. Modern Warfare 3 is an awesome game. It's a really good game, actually. I personally really enjoy Modern Warfare 3. Oh man, there's a nice little sniper Rooney. Toss that over there. Gonna throw this tag insert right here. Okay, so we're using RPGs. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right, so this is the problem with Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> so Modern Warfare 3 is the game I kept playing instead of going to Black Ops 2, and I don't really regret it. I had tons of fun, uh, tons of fun, tons of fun playing Modern Warfare 3, and I just got destroyed. Dude, lat, dude, final stand. Fi why final stand? Wh why? Like, why? Dude, are you serious? Bro, why final stand? Why? Hold on, there's a bunch of guys up here. The sniping in Modern Warfare 3 is really, really fun, in my opinion. I, I can't snipe for shit, but it's fun to try. Out of here, there's one. Got another one. No, dude, the fudge! Now, there's no YY in this game, or you can't YY in this game. I never understood why they took that out, honestly. Never really knew why. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, man, my puns are on point. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I used to play Modern Warfare 3 a lot back in the day. Like, I played it more... I mean, I don't think I played it more than Modern Warfare 2, but I definitely played more than Black Ops 1 two guys hold on okay yeah no we're just gonna run away let's check this out every no of course he's oh my god i don't know maybe it's not it's, i wouldn't say it's underrated but i feel like a lot of people oh, yeah. don't like modern warfare 3 so let me know down in the comments do you guys like modern warfare 3 and if you guys do what's your favorite map and gun in modern warfare 3 let me know down in the comments comment something you know i've watched a couple youtubers and i know that the game was kind of controversial i was actually talking to noisy butters about this game the other week and because we both prefer modern warfare 2 over modern warfare 3 and i just feel like this game lacks maps or good maps i feel like the game could have had better maps I, I like go in the middle of everybody and I shouldn't be doing that. Use code FOXY for 30% off all G Fuel products and the brand new G Fuel content shaker. It's fabulous. And, and it helps me out as a content creator. Okay, bye! I feel like Modern Warfare 2's maps are better. I feel like the Modern Warfare 2 guns are more satisfying to use. But I will say that I think that if Modern Warfare 2 had Stalker or Stock or whatever, I think it would have been amazing. One of a couple things that Modern Warfare 3 did really well. You know, it had... Oh, hold on. There's a couple guys up here. It had Stalker, Specialist Streaks, and things of that sort that, you know, I really enjoyed. And I just got destroyed. We have our Gold Type 95 in this game. And fun fact... Cause I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. Wow, he was laying there. He was doing that shit on purpose. What a new! So fun fact, the Type 95 and the FAMAS were both supposed to be in this game. Apparently the FAMAS got cut from this game and that's why it's not in the game, obviously. 
But a lot of people say, oh, the Type 95 is just the FAMAS. And I used to say that back in the day too, but no, that's not really how it is. The FAMAS is going to be its own separate gun in this game, and then they cut it. Dude, the lag in this game is fucking atrocious! Ooh. Let's talk about the lag real quick. The lag is probably one of the worst things about Modern Warfare 3. That's one guy. Oh my god. And I call me! Yeah! Give me that! No! He's behind the grass, dude! Yes, I love pulling the extra weight on my team. Hiding in the bushes, man. They're all a bunch of bush wookies. So Modern Warfare 3 introduced specialist streaks, and that's pretty cool in my opinion. That's like one of the things that I feel like separates this game and makes this game possibly better than Modern Warfare 2. But we all know it's not better than Modern Warfare 2. We all know that Modern Warfare 2 is king. And if you disagree with me, then uh you can suck it. So <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just messing around. Everyone's got their own opinion on what the best Call of Duty game is of all time and things like that. A lot of people share the same opinion, Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2. There were multiple new types of streaks in this game. There were specialist streaks. Uh, uh there was, um... Stop being a last final streak! Oh my god! Support streaks. Now, support streaks, I'm not a huge fan of support streaks. Because in this game, they were done wrong. It was the first game that they had support streaks in, but they did them wrong. Now, support streaks should be non-lethal only. Uh, pretty much all the streaks are non-lethal, except for a couple. One being the Stealth Bomber. And the Stealth Bomber is not a... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it shouldn't be a support streak. That's a load of baloney. All right, we got the MP7. Ah, uh, Kobe. Now, Modern Warfare 3 has a lot of controversy around it. And the reason being is because the original Infinity War team that made MW2 and Call of Duty 4 ended up leaving halfway through the game's life cycle. And the reason for that is because they couldn't come to an agreement with Activision or something like that where, like, holy crap, I just got sniped. Apparently, it was just something involving... The, the game, Infinity Ward felt like they were being treated unfairly, apparently. Um, that's what, you know, that, that's what people say. I don't know how true it is. Um, you know. Yeah, no. That's a guy right there. And that's a guy right there. And right there. Oh my gosh. Alright, cool. Someone destroyed it. Holy crap. The MB7 is arguably the best gun in this game. It's probably one of the best right next to the ACR. There we go. We got specialists. There we go. Invincible Super Soldier time. I'm the fucking Master Chief in Call of Duty 4. Yikes, we're running away. Stop sitting in a corner! What are you doing? The MB7 was one of my favorite guns in this game, honestly. I actually have this permanently unlocked, and I'm not prestiging anymore in this game because, like, there's really no point. But when this game was in its prime, I pre-fired that, by the way. I didn't miss all those shots. I just pre-fired. Um, I permanently unlocked this gun because I love this gun so much. It was the best gun in the game, and it's just so good. And it's fun to use, you know? You can just, like, run around. It's like it's got rapid fire and shit on it. It's, like, fucking nuts. No! I missed those shots. It's all good there, buddy. Did he spawn on? No, he was behind the car. They're all hiding with their goddamn rocket launchers and martyrdom. Why are they all running the most trolly shit I've ever seen in my life? Uh, anyways, so we have the PP90 M1 with rapid fire, and this gun is freaking insane. You know, the PP90 is awesome. It's been in multiple Call of Duties. Uh, it's also known as the Bison in some of the newer CODs, and I just got destroyed by a guy with a shotgun. Oh, no, wait, that's a, that's a Type 95. The PP90 is nuts if you know how to use it, and if it's in the hands of someone who's a great player. However, I am not that great of a player. So, I don't expect any crazy stuff from me with this gun. Watch your backs. Watch our backs. No, why would you shoot in front of us? Why? You, oh, my God. C4! Love it! Yes! You suck! Yeah, see, you understand why? I'm using rapid fire just because I think it's funny to use it, but, like, it's insane. It just melts people right up close. Any claim wars? No. People like to hide in this building, so. Woo! 
Woohoo! Look at that aim! That wasn't too bad. Here's attack insert. Nope. Denied! So I saw the second Doom Eternal trailer come out the other day. And I have to say, like, it completely kicked my ass. And it looks freaking insane. It just looks absolutely insane. And I'm so hyped for it. So if you guys want me to want to see a video on that or like any other games like I don't know like Rainbow Six Siege or something like that, let me know down in the comments. We can do funny moments on Siege and we can do funny moments on like almost any game that you guys want. I I'm totally down with that. I don't know. I kind of want to branch out a little bit this year, but at the same time, I don't know if YouTube's algorithm is gonna let me do that. So let me know what you guys think. For those of you that watch my content daily. And, um, I mean, if you're subscribed for Call of Duty, I completely understand. But if you guys would like me to do some other content, let me know down in the comments. Because, I mean, I'm always down for branching out. Even if it's, like, Fortnite or something. Like, I could do Fortnite funny moments and trolling, you know? Oh, man. Also, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of uh, my videos right now. And, like, what you guys think of my editing and just the content that's being put out on the channel. If you guys feel like you guys are being gypped of content and being gypped of a good video, please let me know. And if there's something I can do to improve, let me know as well. Uh, but besides gameplay, you know, I I'm trying not to, I'm trying to get better at games, but you know, I, I do suck. So it it it's a little tough, but I'm trying, I'm trying. I just wait, I just wait, man. As long as I see in pre-game lobby, I'm like the happiest motherfucker, bro. He's saying that because there's like nobody in these games anymore. <laughs> so like when we, when like you see someone in these lobbies and like you get games, it's like so refreshing because these games are kind of dead. <laughs> We're playing on Terminal, the best map in Call of Duty history. There's no debate about it. It's the best map in COD history. And if you have any different opinions, you can come see me. You can come see me as I don't know where, but you can come see me while I'm flashbanged. Oh, that's a guy. I thought he was dead. I thought that was a dead body. You don't expect someone to be laying down in the middle of their spawn like that. Guys, if you were to rate this game out of 10, what would you rate it? Oh, well, it just got a hit marker. Personally, I'd give this game like a seven, seven and a half. Wouldn't give it like a, a, like a nine or nothing like that. I think a nine or a 10 is where MW2 falls and where Black Ops 2 falls. Black Ops 1 definitely falls there. Oh, that's a guy, hi. Oh my god, he's oh he's just sitting back there, bro. Terminal was brought back in this game. I pre I, I'm pretty sure it was like highly requested to be brought back because I don't remember this map being in this game at launch. I'm pretty sure we were about maybe like a month or so into the game's life cycle, and I'm pretty sure everyone was like, yo, bring back terminal. And yeah, terminal was brought back. What the fuck? <laughs> How are you killing me, bro? You'd be kidding me. How are you, how are you killing me, bro? I want to know. Sniper spree. Did we, did we really get a chopper with a sniper? <laughs> Did, did I just get a chopper and live with a sniper or a helicopter or whatever? Foxy Grandpa, you know, I used to have you, dog. You're actually pretty good too, man. <laughs> I'm not that great, but you know, I appreciate the compliment. Really? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? So this was the final game in the Modern Warfare trilogy, or the original Modern Warfare trilogy. And, um, as far as campaign goes, I feel like it was, um, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. I like Modern Warfare 2 more. Spec Ops wasn't too bad. I thought MW2 Spec Ops was better. Him. All right, cool. Where the fuck you go? No! What? Okay, so I want to know how I'm missing all my shots. Modern Warfare 3, I feel like they did a lot of things right as far as, you know, improving on certain things about Modern Warfare 2. There's no one-man army noob tubes in this game. Um, Danger Close isn't a thing in this game. There's still overpowered guns, and that's a good thing. No! There's other things like death streaks that they put in this game, and, you know, we all know Robert Bowling trolling the hell out of us back in 2011. Fuck you, last I'm also not the 
biggest supporter of the voice acting in this game. I think that the voice acting itself is pretty good, but I think that it definitely could have been better. And I feel like that badass military, let's fucking go get them type shit in Modern Warfare 2, like yelling score streaks or kill streaks and things like that. That, that was just gone in this game. It, and it just surprised me because it was so huge and gave so much life to Modern Warfare 2 that you would think that the game's sequel would have it as well. Well, it did, and that was a real bummer to me. And then in this game, they did away with the kill streaks. Well, kind of, sorta. They had point streaks, so that way you could, you know, play the objective, but then also get kills, and the kills and the objective would count towards the points that you got for streaks and things like that. I think that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Arr! And honestly, if they brought point streaks, into the new game i wouldn't even trip because i kind of like the point streaks it's better than score streaks in my opinion because you can still get kills and still just like kind of go off in my opinion but guys i think we're gonna end this video i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications follow all my social medias down in the description below i know a lot of you asked for this video so i was really happy to bring it to you and if you guys want me to do another throwback call of duty let me know down in the comments or what, what do you guys want my next video to be let me know down in the comments and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye goodbye <laughs> whoops